episode of Death Battle is sponsored by Warner Bros. God damn. Okay, uh, what is what, what's popping with it? Uh, we are back with a reaction to the Hulk versus Broly death battle. This is a tough one. I I like Broly, but I I think Hulk's Hulk's gonna take this one. But we'll see. First pictures in HBO Max. Wonder Woman 1984 in theaters and HBO Max on December 25th. Streaming on HBO Max for a limited time. Of you know, I heard that shit is trash, so let's go straight. Air we breathe, anger can keep us alive, or doom us forever. Well, on that fun note, let's jump into our season finale. First up is the Incredible Hulk, Marvel's mean, green, Hulk. world-breaking machine. These banners. Broly, the, Broly, the goat. Saiyan from Dragon Ball. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Uh, both of them technically have like never ending power, Young right? Bruce Banner was a genius and the son of nuclear physicist Brian Banner, who was just the absolute shittiest dad ever, complete with Shit, love, I didn't even know that. and super baby slapping. Naturally pretty distraught, Bruce's trauma due to parental abuse internalized itself as a second personality. An angry, childlike brute that just wanted to be left alone. Even with that angry shadow in his head, Bruce grew up to be a leader in the study of gamma radiation. So like a total nerd who probably got beat up all the time. He had that covered. During a gamma bomb test, Bruce was caught in the blast zone and absorbed enough radiation to, well, die. Except he kind of didn't. Well, not permanently. Instead, the bomb opened a door that let Bruce's alternate personality step into the world. Thus, <laughs> using nice. his anger, Bruce Banner transformed into the Incredible Hulk. Badass. The Hulk is one of the strongest Mother Hubbers in all of Marvel. He can lift a 150 billion ton mountain, shatter asteroids God twice damn. the size of Earth, leap into orbit from the ground, and even God mess damn. with the fabric of reality by punching whatever uh, a time storm is you bet your ass the fuck does that even make sense and break time the hulk's absurd power is tied to his rage the angrier he gets the stronger he becomes according to almighty gods just like, like Beyonder, broly the dude's got no known upper limit though to be fair his body can't always keep up and will revert to banner under too much pressure or too many puppies Emotions no, like oh rage God. are governed by an area of the brain known as the hypothalamus, which controls Bruce's transformation. If it's damaged, his life could be put in jeopardy, like when Hawkeye pierced it with a special arrow Bruce himself designed. Good thing the Hulk's a total tank who can keep fighting for God days damn. on end. Nothing short of literal gods are strong enough to take him down. When he does take damage, his body can heal almost instantly, even if his flesh has been vaporized or he's been cut into literal pieces. The Hulk what can the adapt fuck? to any environment imaginable, whether that's just straight up holding energy or surviving Yeah, there's the no way Broly's gonna win this He's shit. He's even battled the warrior god Thor, who has thousands of years of combat experience and is fast enough to cross the universe in about five seconds, nearly 300 quadrillion times the speed of light. No yeah, wonder damn. the world's so scared of him. He's a green apple flavored behemoth of destruction with the mind of a cranky four year old. While the classic savage Hulk persona may be a childish brute, there are several, maybe even thousands of other personalities cooped up within Banner's shattered psyche. Joe Fixit is a street smart bouncer, Doc Green is a super genius, and the Devil Hulk is the father figure Bruce never had. It's like an all-you-can-eat Hulk Emporium in Bruce's brain. We got your Dark Hulk, Mindless Hulk, Hulk Squared, and Claw, which is basically Hulk just Squared. Sad Hulk. It's kind of dumb. Despite seeing his human half as weak, Hulk and Bruce would finally unite against a cruel, uncaring world under a new persona, the Green Scar. He brought a world war to Earth and tore the superhero community a new asshole. And by finally letting go of puny Banner, the Hulk became the unstoppable force Not everyone's Banner. always feared, a world breaker. World is underselling it. The Savage Hulk once obliterated oh, no. an entire universe with a... So unlimited super strength, gamma radiation manipulation. I don't, I don't know what you could do with that, but okay. Immortality, resurrection, reactive adaptation, regeneration. Uh, he can heal. Super genius intellect. Not when he's a Hulk though. I thought 
I mean, unless he's Professor Hulk or like the really smart one, but like regular Hulk is just dumb as shit, right? Superhuman speed and telepathy resistance. So you can't. That's crazy. And bloodied Hyperion with a single punch. The same Hyperion who survived the collision of two universes unscathed. Which begs the question: How much more powerful is the Hulk at his maximum? <coughs> Too powerful. Uh, this one's all on me, Wiz. So Hulk was once with this chick, Wiz. Omar, ruler of the dark dimension. Spooky. Hulk could only match her strength for six minutes, but he made up for it in round two when he came back as the Green Scar and kept Hulk smashing for hours. It's likely they went until dawn. That's a 12-hour session of Hulk smashing at most. My Shit. man. Well, that would make the Green Scar 120 times stronger than the Savage Hulk. Multiplying that by the energy of the two colliding universes would yield 960 duovigintillion joules. That's just a ridiculous number. All that from a single battle? Battle? Yeah. Oh, sweet son Wiz. That's not the kind of smashing I meant. Oh, You've got shit. You're kidding me. I think I just invented a new field of science. The what science the fuck? Of the <laughs> Now, you might be thinking this gamma stuff what is nuts. Fuck? And you're right, because it's Satan magic. So, turns out, gamma is actually directly connected to energy from hell. Drawn from Marvel's wow. ultimate satanic being, the one below all. By using his powers, the Hulk is literally channeling the devil. It's also what kept him alive all these years. Every time Bruce dies, Annihilated an entire planet of power. <laughs> dented, wait, dented ultras. Oh shit. Uh, lifted 150 billion mountain. Okay, I think. His soul is sent to hell shit. and can resurrect. Once returned to the world, his body will heal from whatever killed him. The dude literally can't die. And after a journey into the lowest plane of hell, the Hulk even faced off against the one below all and the ghost of his father. In the greatest there there is no way time, he that Broly is to gonna beat him Talk about no way From one man with crippling daddy issues to another well done sir what else can you say but incredible the Saiyans a brutal alien race here we go conquerors and giant monkey men these famous warriors are defined by three things their tenacity their pride and their rage which fuels their world destroying power and no saiyan can get even close to as pissed off as broly <laughs> despite being of low birth the infant broly was considered a prodigy by saiyans wait he's taller than hulk hulk was eight feet he's nine nine ten holy shit okay uh weight unknown he's 48 saiyan uh trained by paragus goku in the future formerly of the frieza force the legendary super saiyan scientists mm, due to his impossibly high by power level of 10,000 <laughs> Enough to survive a planetary explosion. What? Over 9,000? All right, all right, I'm sorry. I got it out of my system. Anyway, baby <laughs> Broly was growing up nice and happy until he was driven insane by baby Goku's incessant crying. Okay, now, but that doesn't count no more. This is the lamest backstory ever. But have that you really was. Yoshi's Island? Yeah. Ah, don't make it snap. That's the original story, but with the new movie, that's no longer canon. However, despite developing different personalities, both of these Brolies are essentially the same character in different situations. The 2018 one is our primary source here, but we'll look at the original and similar Saiyans like Kale for more info. Whether it be jealousy for his own son or genuine fear of Broly's potential, Vegeta, the king, not the prince, abandoned Broly to a hellish backwater planet to die, with only his father Paragus as company. Just in time for Vegeta to get nuked, the planet, not the king. Well, I, I guess the king too. Damn. All thanks to the alien tyrant Frieza. Frieza, I hate your Frieza. Crazy strong saying, baby. Idiot. Ironically, after decades of isolation, Broly and Paragus were found by Frieza and drafted into his army to eliminate the Saiyans on Earth. Goku and Vegeta, the prince, not the planet. Or the oh my Thing god. Is, not like the angry Saiyans. This guy's a gentle giant who would rather play with his big green alien dog than fight anybody. Paragus molded Broly into a deadly warrior whether he liked it or not. 
Like most Saiyans, Broly can harness ki, or one's inner life force, as an energy to enhance his physicality. Or fire it from his hands in a super laser beam! Broly's bread and butter is his eraser cannon, a green fastball that'll cross thousands of miles in seconds and vaporize planets. He can barf lasers Shit. with his gigantic roar, shower the landscape with blaster meteors, or just breath. straight murder people with his gigantic orgasm! Gigantic Omega Storm? Oh. That makes more sense. Hmm. I'm gonna rename my dick that. Mm. What? It's <laughs> a small key bolt that Broly can feed to rapidly grow in size and consume entire I still like worlds. That. The Omega Blaster. Broly's arsenal isn't just blowing stuff up, though. He can use his key for flight, telekinesis, and paralysis. Despite being stuck in the space boonies all his life, he's an adaptable fighter who can match seasoned veterans. Basically, he learns as he fights. And while most Saiyans get stronger every time they almost die, the Brolmeister's strength is tied to his emotions. AKA, the angrier he gets, the stronger he gets. Hmm, doesn't that sound familiar? These mm -hmm. power boosts are so great, he can match transformations like the Super Saiyan without even needing to transform. But don't worry, he can do that too. His wrath state roids him Ultra up and makes Broly. him as strong as Super a Broly. Saiyan great ape without all the fur. Or the shedding. Much to Frieza's chagrin though, Broly had never learned to unlock Super Saiyan and could not compete with Goku and Vegeta's stronger forms. Solution? Murder Broly's dad to get him to transform. See, that's why I hate Despite Frieza. The I mean, physical abuse he suffered at his father's we got hands, Super Paragus Saiyan Broly, was still but the only family Broly had, and losing that drove him over the edge. That's basically what happened to me when my dad lived. Except I turned into a Damn. super alcoholic. Although Broly <laughs> didn't turn into a typical Super Saiyan. You're welcome. Broly's new form was actually a Super Saiyan C type. This is an unleashed version of the repressed Super Saiyan A type, which are both precursors of the B type. Eddie, yeah, I was gonna say that it was B. Cigarettes again? Okay, I'll see you when you get back. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. I love you. Hey, what? Are you paying attention? Yeah. yeah. Uh, the Super Saiyan Vitamin C form has the perfect vitamin energy control C. and let him wail on Frieza for over an hour. And this time I mean wail as in fight. Um, right. Broly's power was so immense it even made Goku of all people turn tail and run. Goku was able to clash with Lord Beerus with enough force to potentially destroy all of Universe 7, a humongous cosmic structure shown in its symbolic model, making the Dragon Ball Universe nine times larger than our own. Based on this, the shockwaves from their clash propagated 240 quadrillion times faster than light. And after that, Goku became that powerful in his base form. Imagine how much stronger he was at Super Duper Pooper Scooper Saiyan. <laughs> or when fused with Vegeta into the almighty Gogeta. Gogeta, a being many times amazing. more powerful than the sum of his parts. Broly got into a dick measuring contest with a friggin' Super Saiyan squared and shattered reality. And at the peak of his rage, that he became crazy. the warrior of myth, destined to appear once every thousand years. The legendary Super Saiyan. As a broccoli-haired freak, legendary Broly's power is so great that he needs to constantly let it out or else is that he from the game? Kakarot? I guess you could say his power is maximum. He's easily among the strongest foes Goku's gone up against. That includes beings capable of shaking an infinite void just by powering up or merging with the universe and affecting alternate timelines. In his original timeline, the it's Brawl so survived fucking... his energy. They're so similar, but I still think Hulk's going to win. Exploding I want Broly to once, win, though. And in canon, he took dozens of attacks from Gogeta Blue without any visible damage after fighting for hours. His power comes at a cost, though. In his Berserker state, Broly is wide open against an opponent who's just as strong, but far more skilled. And after taking enough damage, his rage will hit its limits and his power will fizzle out quick. He can even get knocked into weaker forms. Broly did lose his fight with Gogeta fair and square, but with new friends at his side to support him and a new rival to teach him to temper his fury, the lonely Saiyan That's outcast be amazing. finally got what his father amazing. could never give him, a family. Aww. But that means he has even more to lose, so watch out because this Super Saiyan's temper is legendary. Amazing. <laughs>
We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, bro. This is it, this is it, this is what we've been waiting for. Let me skip this all ad. Right, the combatants are set, and we've run the data through all possibilities. But first, if you want some more earth shattering action, check out Wonder Woman 1984. This I don't want to watch Wonder Woman. Woman. Alright. <laughs> what is popping with these graphics, hey, man? Spiky hair man? This is like, What's this beauty it's like plan? Dragon Ball Budokai Tenkashi, like you two or one. Scared them away. You are making me angry. You won't like me when I'm angry. He just said the same shit. I didn't know Broly was that much taller. What the hell? God damn! Mm, that Loki throw. You know, I think the only way Broly might be able to win is by using the keys. That's, that's the only thing. Keeping his distance might help him. Oh shit! Just incredible. Hope is immortal. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. He can come back. <laughs> what the monster? Fuck! <laughs> no, the devil. What the fuck, man? He's not even that legendary Super Saiyan yet, huh? Or is he? I don't think so. I'm surprised on how good Broly's doing, but I still think he's gonna lose. I don't need. Can he actually survive in space? He can't even fly. What the fuck is this bullshit? Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. Come on, Broly. Take his ass out. Oh shit, again? There is no fucking way. That's crazy. Crazy, I love it. I fucking love it. Just in. Breaking news. Local area saying literally too angry to die. The Hulk had numerous advantages over Broly. No, he fuck no, he didn't. He got he got dominated the whole and fucking way. Smarter depending on which Hulk was in charge. But since the Hulk's fight for control in Bruce's mind, it wasn't guaranteed he'd get one of the geniuses. Still, his healing factor was nuts. Broly wasn't gonna put him down with anything less than complete annihilation. Fortunately for Broly, compared to his unbelievable power, the Hulk came up short. I know what you're thinking. Hulk could destroy a universe 120 times over, while Goku could only manage a lonely nine. Ah, uh, but that was base Goku's strength. 
Broly's maximum, no pun intended, was far greater. <laughs> Let's lay down some numbers. As a legendary Super Saiyan, Broly was stronger than Super Saiyan Gogeta and took hits from Gogeta Blue without even bleeding. Based on the Daisenshu, the blonde Super Saiyan 3 form is about 400 times greater than Goku's base. Applied to Goku's new base in Dragon Ball Super, he would already be 30 times more powerful than World Breaker Hulk. And that's oh, before shit. factoring in Super Saiyan Blue and Gogeta, which are way stronger than Super Saiyan 3. With this in mind, legendary Super Saiyan Broly is thousands, possibly millions of times stronger than the World Breaker we've seen. While the Holt's strength can keep increasing, so will Broly's, and it's unlikely he'd be able to catch up before being overwhelmed. After all, there have been multiple times when the strain on Hulk's body turned him back into Banner. With that big of a power difference, there's no way the same wouldn't happen here. Even stuff like breaking space and time is nothing new to Broly and other Dragon Ball characters. And don't misunderstand Jared. the Hulk's encounter with the one below all. There's no evidence he directly overpowered actual Satan, just dispersed his cloudy avatar. Hulk even said <laughs> he was just doing that to buy time. Broly's flight allowed him greater maneuverability and area control, plus he could attack at a distance with key. When Hulk did close that gap, Broly's force field and paralysis protected him up close. And it's unlikely Hulk could land a lucky fatal blow, considering Broly took hits from Gogeta Blue, That's crazy, he took his fucking head off. The world breaker. You get the idea. That leads us to our last and most important question. Could Broly bypass Hulk's immortality to put him down and take the win? Surprisingly, yeah. yes. Whenever the Hulk or Bruce die, his healing factor kicks in to fix whatever wound killed him in the first place. Meaning he still needs some element of his physical body that can heal itself in order to come back to life. The hypothalamus is key to this. Once it was destroyed by Hawkeye and his special arrow, Bruce took months to come back from the dead. With Broly's incredible power, there was no doubt he could vaporize Hulk and leave nothing left to heal. Like, basically every Dragon Ball Z fight ever. The Hulk was an incredible basically. opponent, but the legendary Super Saiyan's boundless power, arena control, range of techniques, and Saiyan rage spelled the end for the not-so-jolly green giant. This incredible fight was insane! The winner is insane. Broly. Shut up, Broly. I fucking knew it. And I love it. I'm happy you won. Boomstick. Hey. I'm, I'm so, 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 so.